Welcome back to Mustard Recap. Today I'm going to explain a movie The Skin I Live In, released in the year 2011. The movie begins as we get to know that a woman named Vera, has been kept in captivity by the prime character Robert Ledger in his house. Robert is revealed to be a plastic surgeon who wants to develop a burn-resistant artificial skin, that can also defend against insect bites. On a certain evening, Robert is seen proposing his theories in a medical conference and urging the other scientists to join him in research. After the meeting Robert returns home and analyzes the animal blood sample that he collected from a hospital on his way. Shortly after Robert goes to his room and observes Vera on a screen next to his bed, after watching her closely for some time he goes to check on her, upon entering her room he becomes shocked to discover that she has attempted to take her own life, he then immediately rushes her to his lab and patches her wounds, after gaining consciousness Far asks him how long this will last but the doctor doesn't answer. This implies that Robert has been holding her captive for years in order to experiment on her. Robert lives in an isolated villa with his housemate Morelia and a few servants. It is shown that Morelia is aware of Robert's research and Vera's captivity. In fact Morelia has been looking after the mansion for a long time. During breakfast Morelia hands Robert a gallon of blood while informing him that it was extracted from a live animal. Robert then takes the blood to his lab and performs some experiments on it. In his lab he's kept many insects and different blood samples for his research. Afterward he extracts the artificial skin from its culture and carefully applies it to a headless model. He then transplants the model's skin and eventually moves to Vera to transplant hers. After multiple burn and mosquito tests, he concludes that the skin is resistant to mosquitoes and fire. In the next scene Robert attends another conference where he claims that he has successfully cultivated burn and insect resistant artificial skin called Gal. He also says that his invention will aid in the complete eradication of malaria. He further adds that the experiment worked on a lab mouse and promises everyone that it will work on humans as well. After his presentation the chief scientist questions Robert about the name Gal and his methodology to produce the skin to which Robert replies that it's his late wife's name who was severely burned. Robert also tells the scientists that he combined genes of pig cells to human cells to make the skin harder and more resistant to mosquitoes although the practice is illegal. Hearing Robert's words the chief scientist immediately orders him to stop his research and threatens to report him to the board if he doesn't comply. Later that night Robert returns home and walks over to the monitor to watch Vera. He then walks into her room and informs her that he's completed experimenting on her. Knowing that there's no further work Vera inquires Robert about her future. But the doctor remains silent. She then offers to marry him and live together which makes him afraid and he exits the room immediately. Later Marilly advises Robert to get rid of Vera soon because she thinks Vera's resemblance to his late wife may create complications in the future. However Robert tells her that he's not in a hurry and instead requests her to fire all the existing servants to hide Vera for longer. The next day while the servants leave, a man in a tiger getup arrives at the gate. He reveals to Marilia that he is her son Zeka whom she hasn't seen in 10 years. Getting emotional she allows him in and offers him some food. However while Zaka is having a meal news of a bank heist flashes on the television. From the news Morelia finds out that Zeka is one of the escaped robbers. When Morelia confronts him about it he readily accepts it and instead blames his colleague for not turning off the CCTV camera. After that he convinces Morelia to let him stay for a few days. Just then Zeka sees Vera on a surveillance camera and is surprised by her beauty. He asks his mother where Vera is, but she refuses to say anything. After his mother denies revealing Vera's location he binds her to a chair and starts searching for Vera. He eventually locates her room and starts forcing himself on her. However in the process Zeka says that he's surprised to see her alive. Turns out that Vera looks exactly like Robert's deceased wife Gal. Right at that moment Robert arrives at the mansion and discovers Moralia tied to a chair, and Zek and Vera on the nearby screen, enraged he rushes to the room, shoots Zaka and takes Vera in his arms. 
Some time later while Marilia cleans the bloodstained bed she informs Vera that Zeka and Robert were brothers although no one knew about the fact. She adds that Zeko was fathered by a co-worker whereas Robert was born to Mr. Ledger under whom she previously worked, this means that she is Robert's biological mother although he doesn't have any idea of it, afterward Vera asked Marilia why Zaka acted as if he knew her, Morelia replies that he mistook her for Robert's wife Gal who looked exactly like her, Morelia continues by saying that Robert and Zaka had completely different childhoods. Robert was raised in a privileged family and went on to become a doctor, whereas Zaka grew up as a criminal on the streets. She also informed Zeka that Robert and his wife Gal had a daughter named Norma and the family was happy. However everything changed one day when Zeke arrived at their house and Marilia allowed him to stay in the outbuilding. When Zeka met Gal they fell in love right away. They ran away from the house in a car, but got into an accident midway. Zeka ran away from the burning vehicle leaving Gal behind. By the time Robert discovered her she was barely alive and her face was deformed. Robert took care of her day and night he even removed all the mirrors from the house so she wouldn't be able to look at herself. As time passed by she recovered well but her face couldn't be restored. One day Gal went to look at her daughter playing in the front yard from the window. However she mistakenly saw her face in the window pane and completely shattered her hope for a living. In, in no time she jumped out from the window and ended her own life. Her body dropped in front of Norma traumatizing her for life. Marilia then says that Norma also took her own life by jumping out of the window. Later that night Vera and Robert make love. However Vera claims that the man from earlier had really hurt her so the doctor stops. The two cuddle up to each other and soon fall asleep, in his sleep Robert dreams about his daughter's demise, in the next scene the movie goes back to six years before where Norma is recovering from the trauma of her mother's death, one evening Robert and Norma attend a crowded party and shortly after she mysteriously vanishes, Robert goes looking for her and as he's walking around a guy rides past him in a hurry, later he discovers Norma lying unconscious near a tree trunk. When Robert wakes up Norma she screams as if he had abused her. Robert then wakes up suddenly to find himself drenched in sweat. At the same time Vera dreams about a guy named Vishen who works in his mother's boutique. Vishen has a crush on Christina who also works in the same store and is revealed to be a lesbian. Afterward he also attends the same party that Robert had seen in his vision. Some time later Norma and Vicente appear to get along and they go outside with Vicente's friends, after going inside the garden they start making love, while they're at it Norma begins to have an anxiety attack and screams, she bites his hands when he tries to stop her so he hits her face making her pass out, Vicente then leaves on his bike after fixing her clothes and leaving her in the state in which Robert discovered her. After a week from the incident Vicente goes out for a ride on his bike but is soon followed by Robert who has been looking for a chance to take revenge upon him. After chasing him through the woods Robert crashes Vicente's bike and abducts him to his basement storeroom and keeps him chained. Afterward a police officer informs Vicente's mother that they discovered her son's broken bike on a cliff. He further adds that Vicente may have fallen off the cliff and been washed away by the sea. However his mother refuses to believe this and insists that her son is still alive. The next day Robert goes to a mental hospital to check on his daughter Norma. But she refuses to accept that he's her father and shuts herself inside a closet she has developed a fear of all men and only cooperates with female nurses. Elsewhere Robert has tortured Vision by keeping him chained and depriving him of food and water. One day Robert walks into the basement cleans Vision and gives him food after shifting him to a better place. A few days later Norma passes away, and to get out from her grief Robert tries to indulge himself in work, thus he prepares Vision for his new experiment by shaving him and taking him to the operation theater. He also invites other doctors and creates a fake statement of consent to perform vaginoplasty on Vision. Here we get to know that Robert plans to transform Vishant into a female. The physicians successfully operate on him and transform him into a female. After the surgery Vishant wakes up to find that he's no longer a man and freaks out instantly. Later while Vishant is examining himself in the mirror, 
Robert arrives and provides him with the medical devices to enlarge his newly operated private organ. Furthermore Robert does regular checks on him and helps him recover fully. In the process Robert reveals that he abducted Vision because of his sinful action with his daughter. With no other options Vision does everything Robert says in the hopes that one day he will let him go. Years pass by and Vicente has become Vera now. Vision is the Vera we have seen since the beginning of the movie. In the next scene Vision attempts to run away after getting well. But when Robert locks down the house she tries to kill herself, however Robert immediately rushes her to his lab and saves her, while stitching her wounds, he calls her Vera saying it will be her new name from that moment on, he then locks her up in a special room where Vera spends her time alone watching TV and practicing yoga, understanding the need for a caretaker Robert then invites Marilia who had left working at the house four years before. When she arrives at the place he tells her not to unlock the door and to call him if anything goes wrong. Home to show him a newspaper with Vishant's picture in it, he remembers doing vaginoplasty on him and accuses Robert of lying to him about Vishant's consent. Right at that moment Vera arrives at the scene and defends Robert by saying that she gave her consent for the surgery because she desired to be a lady. The colleague then walks away and Robert expresses his gratitude to Vera for keeping him safe. Later that night while the two are making love in bed, Vera goes downstairs saying she has brought a lubricating cream, however she seems to have other intentions as she takes a gun from a drawer and puts it inside her bag. Before going upstairs she caresses the photo of her past when she used to be visioned. After arriving in the room Vera points the gun at Robert who becomes stunned by her unpredicted action. She then confesses that she lied about falling in love with him, and shoots him to death. Downstairs Morelia hears the gunshot and rushes to their room, but she too suffers the same fate as Robert. The next day Vera goes to her mother's boutique where she's attended by Christina. After walking around the shop Vera reveals her detailed story to Christina who bursts into tears after listening to her. Vera then proves to be visioned in front of Christina by showing her a dress from six years before. The movie ends when Vera speaks to her mother saying that she is her son. That all for today video, I hope you liked it, and stay tuned for more videos, don't forget to subscribe and like the video for more content, also leave a comment to tell us about your favorite film.